They're sending a message by indicting Dinesh D'Souza to guys like you and me and Drudge and, you know, the, the other new media folks out there who are getting to them. And they want us to be looking over our shoulder all the time. Ben Carson, the guy gives a speech at the National Prayer Breakfast with Obama there. He turns around a couple months later. The, the IRS is giving him a, you know, a proctological exam. And it's still going on. And, uh, you know, thank goodness he's a man of courage. He's not backing down. He's exposing it. A lot of guys don't want to talk about those things when it's happening to them because they don't want to become pariahs. And here's another thing about this, Alex. When D'Souza got indicted, I personally went and called lots of people I know, people whose names you would all, everyone would recognize. And I said, how come you're not speaking out on this? Because, you know, this is a big deal, what we're seeing happen right now. And you know that a lot of these guys, a lot of people, who, they're friends of mine. I don't want to name them. I don't want to embarrass them. A lot of people were afraid to speak out. You know, I don't know the facts. I don't know the details. Come on, details. This is payback. It's political payback. It's so obvious. And a lot of them still have not spoken out. And that's a test by the authoritarians. Can they start setting people up? Can they start going after folks? And these people that do this, that are cowards, so I know you spoke up, Drudge spoke up, I spoke up, many others did, many didn't. It shows they have no instinct. Clearly, he just gave a little extra money, and his friends did, uh, to somebody who he went to college with, and it was in a hard race uh, against the Democrats, and they lost it. And it was out in the open. And bundling's done by everybody. It's kind of like Ken Lay. What he did wasn't illegal, and that was later found to be. I, I've looked at the law. Uh, you know, at best, it's a crooked toenail. That's why they're trying to get him on giving false statements to the FBI because he might have said something a little different one time, a little different the next time. That's why you can't talk to him because they always get you for claiming you said something wrong. So the answer is, I'm not talking to you. And the fact that people wouldn't have the instinct. To defend the press, imagine if if Bush and his Justice Department, we know Michael Moore, in fact, somebody should do a story on this and look at his donation records. I know he gives big money to the Democrats. We ought to find somebody, he's given more than $3,000 or whatever the max is, <laughs> right. and, and, and imagine if George W. Bush, Joseph Fair, I want your take on this, mm -hmm. I know I'm ranting, imagine if George W. Bush, two years after Fahrenheit 9-11, if he would have had... Uh, Michael Moore indicted, what would have happened? I mean, I would have come out against Bush. Well, this, this is exactly the point I've been trying to make. In fact, I, I tried to get in touch with Moore just to have him comment on it. What do you think about this? You know, and I wanted to ask the question. I never got to because he didn't want to have anything to do with it. What, what, you know, let's, let's just put the issue on the other foot. If this happened, what would you have thought? Because I, I, I want to, you know, I want to get to the conscience if they have them of the liberals who, you know, if the shoe were on the other foot, they would be looking at this and saying, oh my gosh, this is obvious payback. This is obvious political retribution. But they can't see it when it's so obvious with Dinesh D'Souza and Ben Carson and on and on we could go. And we know the White House is using regulation and the IRS to harass their enemies. The Democrats are now on the news saying, Hey, we want the IRS to shut down our competition. Get in there and do more. And that was an amazing thing. You know, that, you know how dumb I am? I didn't figure that out until Pat Cadell made that remark. You know, <laughs> it hit me like a lightning bolt. I said, of course he's right. What am I thinking? I'm really expecting the Republican establishment to try to protect the Tea Party movement, which is, you know, at their throats. I mean, it's a bigger threat to the Republican establishment than the Democrats are. Well, of course they're going to be okay with it. Why would they have a congressional investigations? Why would they, you know, why would they try to get to the bottom of this? They don't like the Tea Party movement any more than the Democrats do. WND.com, the head guy, Joseph Farah, true trailblazer in real independent media. One final short segment with him. He's a hard guy to get on. Uh, I want to talk about uh, where you think Obama's going, what you think he may try uh, on the other side, and just generally in the world, the good, the bad, and the ugly with uh, Joseph Farah of World Net Daily, because I want to 
you know, get your take, Joe, just basically on if you think we're going to survive this. It's, it's just getting so crazy. We'll be right back. And then your phone calls after he leaves us and a bunch of news that's breaking I haven't even gotten to that's up on InfoWars.com right now. I'm reading it. Stay with us. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. What's making Americans sick and fat? It's too many GMO foods and toxins, destroying our digestive systems, causing poor digestion and suppressed immune systems. A suppressed immune system prevents clear thinking and the ability to fight the corporate and big pharma agendas. Detox now with Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 liquid probiotic is wheat, dairy, and soy-free, gluten-free, and made with all non-GMO certified organic ingredients. Pro-EM1's power is based in good bacteria, live microbes, and all their metabolites, including vitamins, amino acids, and enzymes that support a healthy digestive system, suppress pathogens, and eliminate toxins. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 daily probiotic cleanse at terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245. All right, final segment here with uh, Joseph Farah of World Net Daily. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars. If you just joined us. Looking at Obama and his presidency and the precedents it's setting, what are the stakes in your view? Uh, who was it? The, the, the Martin Niemöller who, who said, you know, first they came for the communists and I didn't speak out and uh, because I was not a communist and he went down the list of all and, you know, uh, when there was no 
you know, they came for me, but there was no one left to speak out for me. That's kind of where I see us right now. And I'm not, you know, look, I know what everybody's going to say as soon as you say that. Oh, are you comparing the United States to Nazi Germany? Are you comparing Obama to Hitler? No, but if we can't learn the lessons of history, you know, then you know what that means. And I think that's that's where we are right now because, uh, you know, we talked about the Nash D'Souza, Ben Carson, and others like that, and I don't see people out in the streets angry about this. And that's exactly what Niemöller was talking about. Now, where, do, where, where does this lead? You know, we, we saw Obama tipped his hand long ago, even when he was running for president. And in his first term, you know, he talked about building a civilian national security force that was as powerful and as large as the Defense Department. What did that mean? Now we see him, you know, dismissing hundreds of senior officers in, in all the branches of the military, generals being purged. And, uh, you know, we see all kinds of, you, you, you know, you guys are doing the stories. What is all this ammunition for? For domestic, you know, uh, domestic agencies within the United States. Giant State. armored vehicles, drones. They say the main enemy is the Tea Party. Uh, hollow point bullets, the whole nine yards, right? And then they say the hollow points are for, they, they, they say they're for target practice. Yes. Who uses hollow points for target practice, right? I mean, it's crazy stuff. Where's it going? I don't know where it's going, Alex, but I do know this, that if the opposition is not united and strong against this, that it, it will ruin this country. It will be the end of this country as it has been known, you know, for 230 years. If he keeps getting away with all these dictatorial power grabs that are historic, uh, do you think there's any danger he might actually try to pull something and stay in or just put so much evil in place that he leaves and then all of his operatives just keep running things. Yeah, I think a part of him actually is going to be tired of being president. I think the bigger danger is, you know, laying the groundwork for tyranny that cannot be easily undone when he's gone. You know, with, maybe he's going to handpick a successor. I don't know. But whatever it is, we can't let it happen. I mean, we've got to be in strong opposition to this guy. That's the key. Uh, exposing. I mean, when, when he's out there bragging about using executive orders to legislate, I mean, that ought to be a sign to everybody. Liberals and conservatives alike ought to be saying, what? We have a constitution in this country. That's not what executive orders are for. And Joseph Farrell of Orlando Daily, you just brought up the key final point. With friends like Karl Rove and J John Boehner, who needs enemies? Uh, that's really the issue, is that these people are blocking any real resistance. Absolutely. In fact, I'm starting a super PAC uh, myself here uh, to, to wage war in 2014 and 2016. And I think the key is, you know, using the tools that others have used, uh, you know, in opposition to uh real competitive politics, to dominate politics, and use those tools to fight back and neutralize the call rows of the world. That's something we got to do. The Republican leadership is really scared of the Tea Party. That, that shows me we have a chance of actually taking over. It's, you know, sadly, it's probably the only chance we have. There isn't enough time, Alex, as we talked about off the air, to do anything else. We can't start a party from scratch and compete with these you know, there's so many advantages this two, these, the two parties have structurally in this country. It's, you know, the only shot we have is taking over one or both of the parties. And, I, you know, I've always said take them both over. But, you know, the, the one we have the best shot at right now is the Republican Party. we got to do it. That's why we, we named our super PAC Takeover. I didn't even know that. Yeah, well, we'll be making some announcements about it shortly. But as usual... Infowars, Alex Jones gets the scoop, even Unbe from my own mouth. <laughs> Joseph Farah, WorldNetDaily.com, WND.com. We got 30 seconds left. What would you like to uh, leave us off with? Oh, I'm going to make my TV debut in a few weeks. On, uh, and then it's not on the Alex Jones show, oddly enough. It's on Amish Mafia. You ever watch Amish Mafia? You know, I don't watch a lot of TV, but I have watched an um, Amish Mafia episode. Yeah, well, that's a lighter note, uh, but uh, <laughs> reality show. That's hey, you got to have some fun and inject some stuff there. I get a lot of listeners that way being on some of the cable shows, and they end up coming here. So, all right, well, thank you so much for the time. We'll talk to you again soon. All right, man. God bless. Uh, hopefully we won't be in a federal prison. <laughs>
I don't know. One of those. Tell you my laundry's not clean enough or something. I don't know. Claim I've got a eyebrow that's too long. I don't know. We're on the march.